Alright guys, what's going on? So I finally got my new PS Vita in the mail uh, and I have my 3.60 Henkaku exploit installed on this and uh, I'm using the updated version of the Molecular Shell 143 as the latest version out right now uh, and we're going to be installing the Vita Shell 182 uh, on our PS Vita. So what you're going to do is uh, simply go to your file browsing area here after you've downloaded Vita Shell obviously and if you haven't already just right click and hit add new network location and what you're going to do is you're just going to follow through this wizard uh, and open up the molecular shell on your Vita and uh, hit select while you're inside to open up your um, or to activate your FTP server and then you're going to say choose custom location here type in the FTP there and then eventually you will have your own server here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to access my UX0 files and I'm just going to take this VPK of uh, Vita Shell right here and copy that over to the memory stick root of my PS Vita. Once I've done that I'm just going to go ahead and exit this and uh, now we can go over to the PS Vita which I'm going to actually try and remote play with my PS3 and capture it with my Elgato so I want to see if this works if it does that would be pretty cool okay well I just found out that I kind of need a PlayStation TV in order to stream this to my uh, channel alright you fool turn back on there we go so uh, anyways so after you exit your FTP client server what you're gonna do is you're just gonna come here and boot up your molecular shell and I'm just gonna start that there and uh, if you have the uh, Vita shell already installed you can use that as well to update this um, but I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom and you're gonna see the uh, Vita shell 182 VPK what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit circle on that because that's the confirmation in here and it's going to ask if you want to install, so hit circle for yes, and allow that to install. And then uh, this package uses functions that remounts partitions and can potentially brick your device if you do not obtain it from a trusted source, which I got this from directly from the flow, so this isn't a bad file. And this file that I have is going to be in the link, uh, in a link description below, so you can grab the same file I got. And when there's an update, I will update it. So we're just going to hit yes. And that's it. So we're installed. So now what we can do is we can exit this, swipe that over, scroll down, and you should see your Vita shell pop up. So we'll start that up. Version 1.82. And that's pretty much it. So rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy your updated Vita shell. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to work on getting a uh, streamer for this because I'm really tired from holding this camera already. And it's only been two minutes, so. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. And I got some more homebrew videos for the PS Vita coming as well as the uh, Henkaku Enzo uh, 3.65 custom firmware. But I need to get another PS Vita for that because I'd rather have both instead of one. Because once you go to that, you can't go back. So, talk to you guys later.